Vladimir Impeller's notoriety in the Middle Ages as well in the modern times is simply astonishing. A simple Google search revealed that he seems to be far more prominent than most of his much powerful contemporary kings and military commanders. Based as usual on historical sources, we will critically analyze the mechanisms, conjunctions and coincidences which led to this uh, notoriety. In today's video, we show how the Dracula stories have been formed during uh, Vlad's lifetime. These are the very heart of uh, the Dracula tradition and still being uh, used by some today as a primary reading material on Vlad the Impaler. Were the Transylvanian Saxons or the Hungarian responsible, as is often claimed? Did uh, they want to hurt uh, Valachia because of some uh, proto-national uh, descent? Or were the Dracula stories part of a wider political attempt of the Catholic uh, powers to control the weakened uh, Valachian voivodeship in sight of the dangerous Ottoman expansion in southeastern Europe? Greetings, my name is Adrian Gheorghe, I'm a professional historian and part of the international and interdisciplinary research team Corpus Draculianum, which aims at uh, collecting and publishing all historical sources of uh, any kind and origin from and about the famous Valachian voivod Vlad the Impaler Dracula. Before we get started, please support this uh, scientific project and channel as well as much as you can. Either uh, subscribing or, if your purse allows, donating via PayPal to the address below. As usual, what we are uh, telling here is the result of uh, research carried out by our uh, team of uh, professional historians and on original uh, historical sources, consulting in countless uh, archives, uh, libraries and uh, museums around the world. It is difficult uh, to prove to what extent and on uh, which uh, political levels there was a politically initiated uh, and uh, sustained propaganda campaign based on the Dracula stories. Perhaps this campaign was uh, very uh, limited and nowadays we overestimate its impact just because of the literary uh, success of the Dracula stories three decades later. It is also hard to say at uh, what ex uh, moment the texts were uh, turned into literary works and that uh, had no political uh, uh, agendas. Yet, we may uh, force some answers by uh, determining what uh, interests and the motives uh, the alleged authors may disclose. There are uh, three main uh, traditions of the Dracula stories. The oldest, documented uh, for the first time in the year 1463 uh, uh, in the works of Pope uh, Pius II and of the Austrian uh, um, chronicler uh, Thomas Embendorfer, were written in Latin. Three years later, we have uh, the first manuscript in German, which was uh, copied and later used for the famous prints in Nuremberg, Bamberg, Augsburg, Leipzig, Strasbourg and so on. This is the most widespread textual tradition on Vlad. More than uh, 30 years later, there uh, appeared also a Russian version, written in a monastery in northern Russia, after a delegation of the Grand Duke of Moscovy had uh, visited the royal court of uh, Hungary. About half of the more than uh, 50 episodes uh, contained in these uh, uh, traditions um, could not be verified in their uh, authenticity by other sources, meaning that uh, the events might be partially or entirely fictional. From the um, 43 uh, episodes of the German version printed in uh, Nuremberg, only 46% can be proven as uh, authentic. Most of the authentic uh, episodes 
provide merely generic uh, information like uh, Vlad became voivod or Vlad or Vlad uh, attacked the Ottomans. Such uh, unsubstantial uh, text passages were uh, needed for the narrative structure of the text and for uh, setting the scene and the credibility for the uh, fictional parts. This uh, observation support the idea that uh, the initial uh, authors belong to groups hostile to Vlad the Impaler and wrote well-structured um, uh, propagandistic stories. As we know, Vlad the Impaler was an extremely resilient and combative uh, voivode. These uh, attributes were uh, very much needed in the crisis of Valachia between the uh, 1420s and the uh, 1480s, during which it, be it became a buffer zone and space of negotiations uh, between uh, Hungarians and Ottomans. Vlad's uh, internal enemies, um, factions of boyars, as well as uh, uh, external uh, adversaries, especially uh, Transylvanian Saxons, could not uh, get rid of him. Vlad repeatedly attacked the unfortified uh, country estates and uh, villages of these uh, adversaries, causing huge economic uh, damages around the fortified uh, Saxon uh, cities like uh, Kronstadt, Brasov in Romanian, or Hermannstadt, Sibiu. Vlad's adversaries tried to provoke an uh, intervention of his uh, overlords by uh, portraying him as a weak voivode who was uh, slaughtering his uh, noblemen. However, the list of the members of uh, his uh, voivodal councils before and after uh, Vlad's uh, reign prove that uh, actually many of his uh, adversaries survived his rule. They were uh, just thrown off uh, court and left alone in case they paid, of course, their taxes and uh, refrained from uh, conspiracies. This was uh, very likely the beginning of the propaganda campaign against Vlad and it went uh, on for years, resulting in 1462-63 uh, at the uh, very latest, in the creation of the text that we know today as uh, stories on the Voivod Dracula. In the Romanian historiography and in Doru Nostas' uh, uh, movie from uh, 1979, the Transylvanian Saxons are the suspect number one. The main argument is that uh, Dracula stories are uh, in German. However, a linguistic uh, analysis does not pro provide any substantial uh, elements of the Transylvanian Saxon uh, dialect. The texts are indeed of uh, South German uh, origin. The author or authors knew uh, indeed some facts about uh, Transylvania, but this could uh, just indicate some uh, source materials uh, originating from uh, Transylvania. Since uh, the oldest uh, versions of the Dracula stories are in Latin and uh, the German uh, version is uh, evidenced no earlier than 1466, the Colmer manuscript, it is uh, actually uh, quite uh, probable that uh, these uh, stories were not German initially. However, we know that uh, the Transylvanian Saxons often used um, uh, Latin even in uh, internal uh, correspondences. Uh, they uh, still could have uh, composed and spread the text in Transylvania and uh, given it as a complaint to King uh, Matthias Corvinus, Vlad's overlord, thus protesting uh, against uh, Vlad's uh, pillaging of their uh, estates. There are some uh, downsides of this uh, complaint uh, theory. The Saxons were until late 1462 among the enemies of uh, Julia the family of Matthias Corvinus. They uh, may have uh, likely uh, perceived Vlad's uh, massacres as a retribution or proxy war waged by the Hun Huniades. 
From this point of view, a complaint may have uh, been useless. The king knew uh, of uh, Saxon's misfortunes in uh, Transylvania, the home region of his uh, family. Anyway, King Matthias Corvinus was uh, until uh, late uh, 1462 Vlad's ally and from uh, the late 1461 even his uh, relative. The Voivod has uh, supported uh, the Hunyadi family since 1453-54 uh, uh, and kept the alliance even when the war with the uh, party of uh, King uh, Ladislaus Postumus broke out in uh, 1457. Regarding this long connection, it seems quite unlikely that the Hunyadis would have uh, demonized uh, uh, Vlad like uh, in the Dracula stories. They would have uh, badly damaged their own reputation. The um, actual reason why Vlad was imprisoned in the late 1462 were not his massacres against the Transylvanian Saxons, but the fact that uh, after losing uh, his throne to the pro-Ottoman brother of him, Radu the Handsome, he um, disregarded Matthias Corvinus' order to retreat to Hungary. By attacking Radu, Vlad risked uh, provoking an uh, unwanted war of the Hungarians with the Ottomans. Given that uh, no Ottoman soldier had uh, reached uh, Hungarian territory, King uh, Matthias must have uh, been quite satisfied with Vlad's uh, defensive performance against the Ottomans, Ottoman invasion in the summer of uh, 1462. However, he needed to take uh, the hot-headed uh, Voivod out of uh, politics um, at least for a while and keep him uh, in reserve as a potential pro-Hungarian uh, substitute for Radu. At the same time, he needed a good explanation for why, of all uh, people, he um, had to arrest exactly the man previously uh, praised for his uh, successes against the Ottomans. The accusations of high treason should have been uh, enough to ruin uh, Vlad's uh, um, political stance among the Christian powers. Vla uh, Matthias sent uh, to the European courts and to Pope a letter Vlad allegedly had sent to Sultan Mehmed II, in which he was promising his support for the conquest of Hungary. This argument should have been enough. King Matthias didn't need the Dracula stories too, apart from being very improper for in the diplomatic communication of that time, it was uh, like uh, hunting uh, sparrows with uh, cannons. Why such a propagandistic overkill of an uh, already uh, disgraced guy who was uh, let al um, alive instead of being executed? The Venetians and Pope, the most important uh, sponsors of the Hungarian king, disposed of uh, highly sophisticated uh, diplomatic and spy networks uh, to get the best information they needed. They wouldn't have uh, accepted such exaggerated stories to influence their uh, decision making. At most, it will be plausible that one of the uh, humanists at the uh, Hungarian court had uh, sent the text over his uh, semi-official uh, uh, channels of uh, communication to his uh, contacts uh, in Germany and Italy. The prime suspect is the Hungarian Chancellor and humanist Janos Vitez. The third scenario refers to one or more anonymous uh, uh, writers who collected information about uh, Vlad Impela and then composed the basic text of the Dracula stories. It is, uh, of course, possible that uh, the scenarios number one and number two were uh, separately or both uh, preceding, meaning that uh, the writer or writers received a text or pieces of text written by the Saxons, which was uh, further edited 
and spread by the Hungarian court. A member of our team discusses uh, in a, a recent uh, study that maybe an uh, uh, ecclesiastical uh, writer, possibly originating from the Melk uh, monastery, composed uh, the text and sent it through his uh, South German networks to his uh, contacts in uh, several monasteries where it was uh, copied. From there, this uh, text eventually uh, reached uh, in the 1480s and 1490s the German printers in Nuremberg, Bamberg, Augsburg and so on, who vastly popularized the Dracula stories. This uh, scenario implies a political uh, neutrality of the writers, editors and printers who did not have uh, a closer relationship with uh, Valachia or uh, Hungary. The fourth uh, scenario is the, quite a novelty in the research, firstly proposed by one of, the, of our uh, team uh, members. According to him, the origins of the Dracula stories could be based on uh, proclamations of the Valachian opposition to Vlad. There were uh, different groups of anti-Vlad uh, exiles in uh, Transylvania, Moldavia and the uh, Ottoman Empire. And of course, there was an opposition in Valachia too. This uh, uh, opposition could grow for years because uh, there were f very few uh, occasions when Vlad missed uh, making enemies. Probably, the most efficient way to spread their anti-Vlad propaganda were uh, proclamations. These were open letters addressed to the political public of uh, certain communities in which they had a broad uh, uh, reception and therefore could, be, um, could influence the targeted decision makers. We have uh, a few surviving examples about uh, Vlad's uh, contemporaries such as uh, Stephen the Great in Moldavia or uh, Basarab uh, the Young uh, in uh, Valachia. We also have in Latin and Slavonic letters uh, from uh, Dan the Pretender to the Saxons in uh, Kronstadt, Brasov in Romania, where he describes Vlad's uh, massacres and asks for uh, political and military support against uh, him, against Vlad. Uh, later, such uh, uh, proclamations could have uh, been uh, merged into a single text, which was to be further uh, spread by uh, uh, political actors or simply by writers. This uh, may also explain why uh, these uh, theories are such a melange uh, uh, reporting on crimes and uh, mass massacres against very different uh, groups of uh, victims. The main ingredient for constructing and uh, memorizing a legendary figure is an uh, exceptional personality who excelled among his uh, contemporaries. In uh, Vlad's case, another decisive factor was uh, the fact that he has been uh, highly controversial and uh, polarizing. He was uh, seen either as a war hero or as a sadistic tyrant. The fact that uh, he made many enemies and uh, got involved uh, into the big politics between kings and sultans made him uh, an ideal target for a furious and uh, unforgiving propaganda campaign. Unfortunately, we will uh, very likely never know the authors of the Dracula stories. Maybe the truth is that all of the hypotheses we have uh, discussed uh, are all true at the same time. The stories could have been just a collective work which grew over time by adding new episodes. The final product fascinates us so much because it forced every uh, reader until uh, today to answer the following question. Was Vlad Dracula a good or an evil person. However, I know for sure that uh, as His uh, Majesty used to end his uh, Slavonic letters, I shall also wish you, hopefully, may God rejoice over you. Bye.